Imagine a point in the ocean where sunlight dies below 2 kilometers. And at 5,000 meters, the pressure crushes steel as if it were foil. Down there begins a world science has mapped for decades, yet still describes with caution. The deep sea behaves as if it has its own will. Instruments are lowered into the dark and sometimes return silent. Electronics failing as if they encountered something beyond our models. There are regions where sonar suddenly loses the seafloor. Not because of an abyss, but because rising methane scatters the signal and creates the illusion of a bottomless void. Deeper still, at three to 4,000 meters, black smokers roar, releasing superheated water. Around them thrive organisms that live without sunlight and feed on pure chemistry, the kind of life we'd expect to find on another planet. In trenches below 6,000 meters, strange low-frequency sounds have been recorded. Neither whales nor machines fit their signature. And on some seabeds, chains of perfectly round depressions form neat rows, as if someone left deliberate marks in the sediment. The deep ocean is terrifying, not because of monsters, but because nature down there behaves in ways that feel utterly alien. Like the video if you want each anomaly explored in detail and tell me which one to cover first.